that was 13 years ago. Susan Georgie, hi. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Good, and you? We're so good, and you have the message, Andorra will be back. There's like a whole team of people with a shirt that says Andorra will be back and here, and we really want them to be can back. We, can, we, can we please buy one? It's incredible how many people want this T-shirt. They're really like every every hour that is going up in price. <laughs> so this is just like a message to Andorran television, Andorran government, Andorran people. Like, hey, Europe wants you back, isn't it? It is. They know it though. They know it. They know the pressure they have from especially my team, but also from all the Euro fans all over. We're working hard on it. It's been a while since you started to try to get Andorra back to Eurovision. Now, how have you felt the reaction of the Eurovision fans, the Eurovision community? Have they embraced you? Incredible, incredible. And I couldn't have done this without. I wouldn't have. I might would have started it, but I would never have gone this far if it hasn't been all for all the support that I've gotten from all over the world. It's quite incredible, really. And I just earlier someone told me that people know more about Andorra now since you left the Eurovision than actually when we were in the Eurovision because we've just worked so hard on this. And all the year fans are just still writing on it and still writing the government, still writing us. We re receive so many messages. Uh, so that's so how do we stand right now? Where are we in the process of coming back? Because we're calling, we're, we're taking for granted that you're eventually coming back. But where are we now? I think we're closer than ever. Yeah. I, I would say so because I have to stay positive. <laughs> no, but I really do think so. We have, with my whole team, we have made a whole project plan uh, where everything is down to the last detail of songwriting camps with some of the best songwriters all over Euro Eurovision winning songwriters uh, that m many of them we know, I know personally. So, so that's very easy for us to put it together a good team to get. I mean, everything is really down to that we can just press the button and, and, button and and say we go to your vision. So you're speaking about songwriting camps, is it going to be something like some countries do just like Czech Republic or the things that San Marino does? How is it, is it similar to any other country? I am 100% in favor of that. 100% in favor of that because I do believe this is a singing, a song writing competition. A lot of people forget that, but back in the day, this was a, this is a songwriting competition. And it's really all about the song, isn't it? Everything that comes after that on top of the cake is just wonderful, you know, but but it is down to, to a good song. Uh, I think there's nothing wrong in getting a song written in another country if that's the right song. You know, it's it, everything after that is more promotion, the country, the way you want to promote it and promoting that song. But really the songwriting, I really think we need to, to go outside, but which they've done years earlier as well, Andorra, so. Like in the last years, you also did that. So, Susanne, it was 13 years ago. No, no, 14 years ago, actually. Because 2023, yeah, it's good, it's <laughs> fine. No, no, it's I'm not just. Part of that. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to ask you, it has Eurovision has grown massively since you were there. How are you feeling that? How are you finding the, the experience now? This is this is really crazy because even social media, also the fact that it's allowed to play the song before time now, that's something that when we couldn't do that, when people couldn't do that, you couldn't really make these parties. I mean, you could take the singers from the year before, but you couldn't promote the song from the same year, and that is allowed. Thank God now, it, obviously, when when all internet came in and people could just you know that was obviously they had to do that um, so it's changed a lot and all these pre-parties and, and that, that just changes everything doesn't it because you can really especially the artists in every country can go out and promote their song and I think it's wonderful that there's this opportunity now that wasn't there 15 years ago 10 years ago even and now the million dollar question mm. the winner. no, no? <laughs> will you be up to come back for Andorra or for oh well or for Denmark <laughs> for Denmark Okay, um, the funny thing is a lot of people think I'm doing this so I can sing for Andorra again. Um, that is be already <laughs> a very good thing to do. I mean, Thank you. Like <laughs> it is, I, I would not do that though. Mm. I would not do, at least not the first few years. It, it, this, I think um, if what I'm fighting for is for the country, I'm fighting for us to go back, but I'm fighting uh, to get uh, the right people to be in the delegation, to do an amazing job, and and maybe use a little bit of the of the strength that I have from my earlier year touring around the world, all the contacts that I have. I think that's a little bit where maybe Andorra haven't had so much experience, which is normal. I mean, it's a small small country. Um, so that's my goal: to be part of the delegation um, and to actually make Andorra come back, but bigger than ever. 
and to hear Catalan again at Eurovision. Catalan again, yeah. I've gotten to this point that I say to everybody, whatever language is fine. If they want to sing in Chinese, we're saying, we need to go back. You know, I don't want to make it political. <laughs> so if they say the word in Catalan, perfect for me. You know, I, I think anything, obviously, we, this is a national language. Un poco, un poco de Catalan estaría bien, ¿no? Una amiga. <laughs> Susan, finally, do you have a message for all the, your re their fans at Weebly Blogs and the people who are desperately wanting Andorra to come back? I do. I want to thank you all, especially you guys who's actually getting my voice out there. Uh, thank you so much to Weebly Blogs. Thank you so much to all the Euro fans because I wouldn't have continued if it hadn't been for, for all you guys. Uh, it's so important that I get the support and that we feel the support. And it's just it's just really incredible to feel all this love. So yeah, that's my oh and la one last mission. We have a little gift for him. Oh, I'm just Ben Henry. London right no. now. Oh, William. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll hand this to William. Oh my God. I know you cannot go back without this to him. Of you know you yeah, cannot go back. Yeah. Because I was really hoping to see him. But oh my God. Yeah. If, if and the little heart with the Andorran flag. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. William, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram. Hey, we'll we'll give it to him. That's Thank for sure. You so Thank you so much, Susan. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.